Okay, so in this question we've been given the triangle OAB. We've been told that the movement from OA is given by the vector 2A and the movement from O to B is given by the vector 3B. In the first part of the question we simply have to write AB in terms of A and B. So moving from A to B using the vectors we have to go via a, from A to O to begin with and then we have to go from O to B. In that way we are using the vectors. Now A to O goes against the vector arrow, so this means we have to reverse the sign from plus to minus, so it's minus 2A. And then from O to B is going with the arrow, so that's plus 3B. So that's 3B minus 2A, if we put the positive term first, but either will do. Now the second piece of information we're given is that P is the point on AB such that AP to PB is 2 to 3. We've got to show that OP is parallel to A plus B. So I'll remind you that if you're showing that one vector is parallel to another, what you've basically got to show here is that OP is some multiple, so we'll say K, of A plus B. That's all you need to do, because if it's a multiple of the same vector, so if that's one vector, a multiple of the same vector, will be going in the same direction, it'll just be longer. Okay, so the A plus B bit gives you the direction, and the K bit just gives you the length. And they're clearly not starting from the same point, so they're not um, collinear. So if we prove this, we've shown that they're parallel. Now, the second bit of information, well, the bit of information that we're given to prove this is that AP is in the, to PB is in the ratio 2 to 3. So if you put 2 there and 3 there, what you must deduce is that AP is 2 fifths of A to B. So think of the whole distance as being 5 and that the distance from A to P is, is 2. So the A to P is 2 fifths of AB. So it's crucial we use those two bits and that's why there's three marks for this question. So if we um, write out AP, so A, sorry, OP should I say, O to P is going to be O to A plus A to P. And we've got both of those. So O to A is 2A and A to P is going to be two-fifths of AB. Okay, two-fifths of AB. So that gives me 2A plus two-fifths. Now AB we just worked out was 3B minus 2A. So to finish this question is really al algebraic. So that's 2A plus six-fifths B minus four-fifths A. Now, if we're going to do 2a minus 4 fifths a, you must think of your 2a as 10 fifths. All right, 2a is 10 fifths, and so 10 fifths take 4 fifths is 6 fifths. So this is 6 fifths a plus 6 fifths b. So you've got your 6 fifths as your common factor, and so you are now able to show quite clearly that OP is a multiple of AB, it is 6 fifths AB, and this proves that it's parallel. So we can write, hence, parallel. And that will be understood by your examiner, and they will give you full marks for that.